What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz back with a bittersweet video. Uh, traded a black label card. Didn't sell it. I traded one of my black labels. Those of you that do not know, I am a huge proponent of conditional rarity. Whatever you think, it is what it is. Everyone who collects PSA 10s technically is a, a conditional rarity guy, but I uh, the black label is like the next level of, uh, of that. Um, and those of you who do not know what that is, a black label is basically uh, a grading company called Beckett Grading Services. And if you get 410 subgrades on your card, you get a black label. Um, and it's a really cool thing, sought after, e even in the ultra-modern cards. Um, so I've owned four black labels for probably a little over two years, two years or so. Uh, but this is the first one I've ever gotten rid of. Um, it is time. It's time. It doesn't really fit in the collection. Um, so it, it, it's time to see its, its departure. Uh, none of the cards I own that are black labels are modern. Um, the four I had were all 1999 and sooner, or maybe 2000, the year 2000 and sooner. Um, never been a modern black label guy. So this is really exciting uh, to be able to do this. Basically traded in this stuff to help liquidate the card. I had this card listed on eBay for a while. Um, you may be have an idea of what it is now at this point. Maybe you don't if you don't even follow my eBay. If you don't, shame on you. But basically had this card listed for a while. The best offer I got was like three grand or $3,500. Um, and that was probably a year ago, uh, maybe a little less than that. So for me, it was time to kind of liquidate it, move into something else. And somebody came to me with a pretty good trade. So I figured I'd take it. It's, it's cards that I'll be able to sell pretty quickly. Um, the first card that I received in the trade was a Japanese Umbreon VMAX PSA 10. So those of you who do not know, this card is from the Evolving Skies or EV Heroes from Japanese. This card is auctioning like every other effing day on eBay, selling for roughly $2,900 to $3,100 right now. Maybe it's seeing a downtrend, but it's about three grand as it sits um, as eBay sold listings show. So that's the one card I got. So my plan is to basically immediately sell these, auction these on the site. And the other card I received, this one's going to be a little bit more work. Uh, BGS 9.5 Rayquaza V. So this is the Alt Art Rayquaza V from the Blue Sky Stream set. This card in a PSA 10 is like 570 bucks to 650. This has got three 9.5 subgrades. Not sure why no 10s. But this is a, a new back Japanese card. But the centering is a 9. But damn, let me tell you, it looks pretty damn good. So the plan is to send this into PSA. Hopefully upgrade into a PSA 10. Um, likely going to crack this bitch out of the case. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so basically got these two cards to liquidate to get this card out of my hands. And the card leaving is the Black Label Slow King from Neo Genesis. Japanese card. Um, the English variant of this in a 10 is an absurd amount of money. The Japanese Neo Genesis card in a 10 is like $200, uh, roughly. So this card, like I just traded it straight up for these two, no other cash involved. Really awesome card. I absolutely love this card. This is a pop one card. There is no other black labels of this card. There's not a whole lot of black labels, period, from before 2003. I'd say less than 12, I believe, or so. Um, so, yeah, this is a really cool card to be uh, to have going into this collector's hands. Not going to share his name, but uh, I know he's excited to get it into his collection. It's going to fit probably a little bit better. My other three black labels are all Zapdos cards. Those don't have any plans of leaving anytime soon. This one was just an oddball one. I had picked up from an auction a long time ago. I want to say this might have been my first black label card. Um, and that kind of, this kind of opened up Pandora's box for me. This is kind of what set it forward. Like, damn, this is cool. I'm all for it. I'm I, again, I'm not a black label modern guy. I'm not going to go pay premiums on those cards. I'm just not, especially Japanese, like ultra modern Japanese black labels just feel bad. Like I hundred percent, like, I don't know. It, it'd be tough for me to pay for one of those with the premiums they're pulling. 
but this is a really cool card. Excited to see it go, um, but at the same time, looking forward to getting some of these things liquidated. These cards look really good. Um, I'm excited to have these. Um, got to show, I got both of these bad boys. Got an English one and a Japanese. You don't get to see that very often. This, this one is bullshit, though. Let me tell you this. This was a quad plus plus BGS. So it was 0.5 away from a, a BGS gold label 10. And uh, I crossed it over and they gave me a gem at 9.5. So absolutely got fisted. So that's getting cracked out of the case probably and resubmitted. But this card's awesome. Looking forward to getting this thing sold. Anybody interested in one, let me know. It is available. It's not on eBay yet as the posting of this video. But it's going to be moving. Um, so appreciate the love and support. Thought I'd let you in a little bit on uh, kind of the stuff behind the scenes of my collection. I've never really done a high-end trade before. Um, I tried doing one with a scammer dude at Collecticon, but uh, that didn't end up working out. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, so excited to see this move. Excited to go into the next thing. Appreciate the love and support. Y'all have a good one. Peace.